Good day. Good day. Thanks for stopping by. Well, we've got quite an adventure ahead on this trip. Although this part of it is only the first part. So we've started off from St. Leonard's in Victoria and we spent a few weeks there and our plan is to go and work our way up to Darwin. Yeah. We're heading up to Mullumbimby, one of our favourite spots. You would have heard us mention that one before. Yeah, it helps. And we, while, while we're there, we'll visit with family. Yep. And then we'll di go diagonally across from Mullumbimby to Darwin. For this trip, um, what we thought we'd do is on our way up to Mullumbimby, we would do free camping. So yeah. we're going to free camp all the way up to Mullumbimby. Okay. Our first stop is going to be Hay. Apparently and they have a, a lovely, some, not just one, but a, a number of really lovely camp spots by the river. So we'll look forward to all that. Yep. And we, uh, but there's a place in Hay where apparently you can get some good potable some, water. Some good potable water, yeah, at the Hay water station, so. See you in Hay. See you there. So I pulled into Hay and we've come to a park uh, in the main, just off the main street and it's got um, several taps here that you can fill up with potable water. So just out here I've parked and right close to it and there's a tap here. Water suitable for drinking. Cool. So we're going to fill up with water here for our stay in the hay. All right, here we go. Fill it up now. And then after this, we're heading off to, um, oh, I can't remember the name of the place now, but just down by the Murrumbidgee River. So hopefully it's all right down there. Well, folks, this is the Sandy Point Free Camp down by the Murrumbidgee River. I'll tell you what, it's a nice level spot here. Just out of the way of the tree branches so nothing falls on us tonight that's a great little spot and then just overlooking the bush area here over the back which you can't really see is the Murrumbidgee River I'll go for a wander over there in a minute and we'll go and have a look at the river there's a walking track that goes along the banks of the Murrumbidgee River from here at Sandy Point out to Bushy Bend Reserve or you can walk into town from here in about 25 minutes and it's quite flat well, the river looks a bit swollen. I wonder how far up it has been. That's right, I've got some picnic tables here by the banks of the Murrumbidgee River. It's a pity the sun's not out. It would have been beautiful here. There you go, a couple of barbecues under here. Do they work? Mm, operating instructions. Press and hold the start button. There is none. Oh, they, they do have a couple of barbecues here, but they're not in working condition, so I don't know if they're going to repair them or not. And then you got the toilet block up here. I'll tell you what, I'm impressed. The toilets here are spotless. Uh, very clean and neat and tidy. And flushing. Uh, and, yeah, flushing. <laughs> That's important. <laughs> So this is the first time that we have used our little gas butane cooker. Is that what it's called? It is. There it is, look at that. Oh, that's a good idea. We haven't done that. It's a great idea. Look at that. Perfect. No, we, do we need something so it doesn't slip around? Set the lever to unload. Unload, yeah. Unload, off. Yes, it's that. So you put that down in one motion. Oh yeah, that looked like it locked in. Yeah. And this back. Yep. That's down, and then back here. Oh. Lid. Oh my goodness, there look at is. that. We have fire. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> what do I sound like? Brody from Young Brody. We have fire. <laughs> we have fire. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yay! We have fire, baby. <laughs> Cheers, Brody. <laughs> All right, so we've got the butane cooker out. First time I've used it. Yep. 
Yeah, we're doing all right. What gourmet feast are you preparing for us tonight, babe? Oh, gourmet chow mein with rice. <laughs> Nothing but the best. Absolutely. <laughs> what else do you do when you're free camping? Well, yep. good old chow mein. <laughs> some curry powder, some salt and pepper, some stock cubes, beans. Cabbage. And voila. Mm -mm. Looks good. Uh, overnight, we've dropped to 65% of the battery. It's still pulling um, three amps, three and a bit. And I imagine that's the fridge doing that. So, be interesting to see if we can get up to 100% before. Uh, this afternoon when we stop. All right, so we're headed up to Forbes now. We're gonna camp again by the river up there. It was a very peaceful spot, and one we'd recommend. All right then, we're off. Off to Forbes. Let's check the lights. When Paul's ready. Probably doesn't even realize I'm waiting here. Hey. Oh! I'm waiting to check the lights. Okay, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> I'm waiting to check the lights. <laughs> Shall we check the lights now? Sure. So just goes to show you, even when you've camped overnight, you haven't unhitched, it's still important to check the lights. Because on that occasion, our left hand blinker wasn't working. So always worth a double check. Well, we're back on the road, heading into Forbes today, and we're going to stop in West Wild Long for fuel. So it's a fair distance into Forbes. We've actually put ourselves under pressure a little bit because we've got to get the van in at Lismore, and I booked that in for Thursday, so we don't have as much time as we would have normally liked. So the good thing today is that the wind has dropped off, so straight away I noticed a difference in the fuel consumption, yeah. which is good. <laughs> And the van handles a lot better too. All right, we made it into Forbes. We're at the Wago Park rest area, and this is such an awesome free camp spot. So this um, park is on Lake Forbes, and it's a, it's a free camp. It's nothing. There's a dump point up there. We filled up with water before. I forgot to take footage of it. Now the other thing I wanted to mention was that today there's no wind on the way up here, and the fuel consumption compared to yesterday has dropped by no kidding six liters per hundred kilometers yesterday we were pushing out about just under 26 liters per 100 k's and today it's dropped to 19.9 so when we set up the nose of the van was down a couple inches too low so this time around i've put the jack on and um, lifted it up a little bit and it's just taken the, the nose up enough that inside now it's perfectly level. So yeah, another relatively level spot and wasn't hard to fix it up. Yeah, got the um, awning up now. So I put the awning out, a couple of chairs. I'll tell you what, this is, uh, this is a beautiful spot here. <clears throat> nice little spot and it's a free camp. That's the amazing part of it. But sit here and just, yeah, look at that. It's hard to believe that only a few months ago this whole town was underwater from some of the worst flooding in history when the Lachlan River broke its banks. All right, beautiful morning out here. Come and have a look at this. How nice is this? There's a really nice three kilometre walk around the lake that can be completed in under an hour. Well, that was another great stay. And now we're on our way to Spring Ridge. We're gonna call into Dubbo to fill up with water and fuel. All right, we've pulled up at a park in Dubbo to fill up with some water. So it's a nice big open area. There was plenty of room to move around. We've got plenty of space here to um, access the water. Taps just over here. 
and the van. So, all right, I'm gonna go fill up with water and we'll head off again. Filling up the tanks, ready for our next part of the journey. Made it out to Spring Ridge, a free camp out here, um, up in the, the high country, on um, just off the Black Subway on the Coonabarabin Road, heading into Tamworth. On the way up here, we went through a, um, a huge pothole. I couldn't avoid it on the road because there was a truck coming the other way, and I couldn't slow down in time. So I actually um, went through one side of the van, went over um, into the, the pit. Um, where the washout was and it come up and it swayed a little bit but it didn't um, sway a lot the van actually straightened itself up pretty quick which I was very grateful for because I thought it could have been a lot worse than it was um, oh, hang on, let me try and open this there we go but I'm curious to see if anything bounced around in here uh, no, all looks good yeah, no, it sat pretty solidly but yeah, it gave me a bit of a fright um, but there was only that one really, there was a lot of potholes here and there, like smaller ones and the road was in poor condition, but for the most part of it, it wasn't too bad, so they repaired most of it already. Alright, well we're going to spend the night here at um, Spring Ridge Sports Ground. This place, um, as I said, it's a free camp, but you actually can get power here too. Or, so you can plug in the power over there, we're not going to plug into the power, we don't need to. But it's got um, toilets and showers over here. Uh, big sports field if you feel like a bit of a run around. At the moment we're the only ones here, so plenty of space for us. And um, yeah, they, they do ask for a donation, so a donation camp. So we'll probably throw a few dollars into the honesty tin over there. Uh, a bit of gratitude for having such a beautiful place to stay, nice and clean. And the toilets here. I think it even has showers. So it's just toilets, no showers in there. But still, um, all up, pretty nice. Just nice and warm out here. So I might need to either hook up to the power so I can get the aircon running, or I might get the generator out and give that a bit of a whirl. There's no one else around, so I'm not going to get any, anybody's um, nerve having our journey going. I stand corrected. Apparently there are showers here. The other side of the toilet says ladies and a gents shower block. So here's the honesty box. Got some money to put in there, a few dollars. Five dollars. Oh, there's barbecues over here too. Yeah, free barbecues as well. So it really is a well equipped little park. They really encourage you to come here and stay. So it's 34 degrees here at the moment, which is stinking hot. We're not connected up to power, as we said. So I've got the generator out. But apparently this is one of the quiet ones. It was so still that I figured it was a great opportunity to get the drone out and get some flight time. Well, it looks like another beautiful morning here at Spring Ridge. Go ahead and check this out. It was very peaceful last night. Barely a sound until early this morning when I could hear a couple of roosters auditioning for Australia's Got Talent waking us up. But apart from that, it was very quiet and very peaceful area. Certainly um, recommend a night stop here. Now today we're heading up to um, Ebor. There's a free camp up there that we spotted, a roadside stop. It's, uh, I'm not sure how far it is, I think it's about four hours from here. Go up through Tamworth and uh, turn off at Armadale, heading over on the Waterfall Way. Now I've heard some pretty um, scary stories about Waterfall Way. We have been on it once before um, with the van and that was coming up, but going down would be a different story, so that'll be interesting. Anyway, we're going up to Ebor today and we'll go check out the free camp up there. Looking forward to that part. All right, let's get a wriggle on. The Royal Hotel in Spring Ridge gets some amazing reviews and it's only a short walk from the campground. Well, that was pretty scary. 
We came out of Moonby and there's Moonby Hill 1 and Moonby Hill 2. And oh my goodness, how steep are they? Yep, that was steep. I, actually, for the first time, I wondered if we were going to get up the top. The car just slowed to a crawl going up there. Yeah, I've never done that before. No, not That's to that extent. Like, no. we, we struggled to get up hills here and there. But this one, oh, that, that was really bad. I, I, it was um, so slow going up there. But well, we did, we got to the top of it. We did. It was on the Oxford Highway, yeah? Uh, New England Highway. New oh, it might be. I think it's both. Could yeah. be both, yeah. But yeah, that was pretty scary and um, yep. didn't think to take any footage of it, we probably should have, but anyway. Yeah, we were just too busy getting up <laughs> Too busy panicking. Yeah. We did, we did, there is, a, there is a, at the very top of it, a bit of a stop, so we stopped there for just a little yeah. while. Yeah, and checked the car out. Make sure the car was yeah. alright, let it cool down a bit. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, yeah, all good. Yeah, all good. But I suppose that means what goes up must come down. <laughs> yep. Let's hope it's a little more gradual. <laughs> Although Waterfall Way isn't noted for its calm serenity. Lovely. Great. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, all right. Well, onward and upward. Yeah, upward. <laughs> and upward. Hopefully there's no more upward to go. <laughs> Over the Great Dividing Range. Always a joy. Here we go. <laughs> all right. So made it to Armadale. We're at the Bicentennial Abotorum. Abor I think it's our Arboretum. We're at the Bicentennial Arboretum and you can get water here, there's a dump point which is um, handy <laughs> and they've got a water tank here so it costs you a dollar for a hundred litres so I think a dollar is about the minimum charge. Alright so we're going to put a dollar's worth of water in the van and tell it the rest of the way. I'll tell you what, I'm glad I didn't have the water tanks full. <laughs> going, going up, up that hill. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but the here, just to, just to just be aware, it's a credit card or a debit card only. Yeah, only, there's no cash. There's no cash here. You've just, a, it's a pay wave. Mm. And I'll put the, um, this, this on myself. So that comes there. There's another one here, I don't have that, obviously. But, all right, we'll see how we go fill, fill up the um, water. Yep. When we were planning this trip, um, one of the places we took into account was Walla Mumbai. And um, the only trouble is, it wasn't far enough along the way for us to stop at. But we're really keen to um, check it out because it gets such great reviews. So we've called in off the road on our way to Ebor to check out Walla Mumbai. Um, the general store is supposed to be a great place and there's free camping behind it. And we're going to use a lose. I think this is the free camping area here. It looks pretty flat, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Once you get into it, it looks yeah. pretty flat. Yeah, it looks good. So that'll be all right. Yeah. yeah. Just a little bit. Get in there. I see places where they've turned around in there, so... Yeah. 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 Well, let's check out the school. Apparently you can get a, um, a beer and a wine here too, for this place. Yeah. So they've got a so beer garden out the back. But their claim to fame is their chips. Apparently they have their famous chips. Mm. They're amazing. I'm hungry, so I'm not going to have any. Yeah, pity great lunch already in Armadale. <laughs> the burgers and chips are supposed to be pretty good here. G'day. Tell you what, if we weren't trying to get a few more kilometres under our belt before the, tonight, I think I'd certainly stay here, try out the chips and burger. The service has been great. It's a nice little spot here, and they have very pretty coffee cups. <laughs> Cheers. So we pulled into the Ebor Sports and Rec area, but struggled to find a spot that would allow us to stay hitched up and be even close to level. But we did it. And for dinner, we had a Thai red curry. Check this out. And I'll tell you what, I'm loving this butane cooker. It seems to be working well for this free camp thing. Mm. Bon appetit. Oh, we spent our first night here at the Ebor Sports and Rec area. And it was pretty full last night actually. There was someone came in um, late in the afternoon, must be around five o'clock, and they couldn't get in. It was some um, chocolate block. A lot of people obviously have disappeared now. But come on, I'll show you the campground here. There's a 
toilet block over here, there's some non-potable tank water here, and then you've got the rec area at the back. And that's about it, there's not much to this place, but it's a nice little spot. It was so quiet last night. There's a path into town you can walk. Um, yeah, this is Ebor Sports and Rec Area. And I want to point out, we're at 1,350 metres above sea level. So we've climbed a fair bit with the van. There's minimal phone reception here, a bit of Telstra and a bit Optus, but not enough to do anything with, so we have actually had to put up the Starlink dish, which seems to be working fine. I've had a couple of issues with it dropping out here and there, but overall, it's been good. I mean, it's the reason we can stay here now, because next two days we've got to work, and um, because of Starlink, we can do it here. Ebor is considered a village on New South Wales' northern tablelands. It's probably most famous for the Ebor Falls, which is a tiered waterfall on the Guy Fawkes River. Unfortunately, the park was closed while we were there, but I did find this pick. All right, our last night here at Ebor Sport and Recreation Area, and we're off to the pub for dinner. Actually, it's the first time we've been to the pub on this trip, so um, we've tried, been trying to be um, healthy. Healthy, uh, yeah. It's just not really working. Anyway, I'll tell you what, there's not many people left here in the park. It's really empty now. Just don't go near the grass. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, they um, were talking to the other couple before and they were saying that they saw two tiger snakes yeah, on, 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 the, here, on the path, on this path down here. So we're going to go up on the road, which hopefully is a bit safer. Well, only have to safer from snakes anyway. <laughs> only have to watch out for trucks. <laughs> anyway, so a quick walk into town, if you like, <laughs> to the pub and we get a feed. Yeah. Right, let's go. Let's go. All right. All right, heads up. If you head down to the Ebor Falls Hotel Motel for dinner, book. <laughs> we walked in. And unfortunately, believe it or not, it was packed, so we couldn't get a table. There was no table. Yeah. Lucky so, we've got some dinner at home. Mm. But, I mean, there's quite a few trucks um, pulled in here, so... Yeah. And I guess that, together with some of the locals, um, meant that, yeah, no room at the inn. <laughs> not well, for us. So we're back um, up to the van, yeah. leftovers for dinner. Leftovers are good. Yeah. Well, I've just finished our three days in Ebor and now heading into um, Lismore to get uh, some work done on the van today and then we'll be off to Mullumbimby. That'll pretty much finish this leg of the trip. All right, correction, we're not going on the waterfall way down the um, other side of the Great Divide. We're actually going on the Armadale Road. So heading down the east side of the Great Dividing Range, there's two options. You can either take Waterfall Way down into Coffs Harbour, or you can um, use the Armadale Road, which takes you into Grafton. Now going to Lismore, obviously Grafton's the, the area that we're going to head to. Well, we made it back into Lismore, coming down the Armadale Road. Not the Waterfall Way, as I thought we might have come. But the Armadale Road, it was actually in quite good condition, um, much better than what I expected. And we finished up our free camping with a night at the front of some friend's house in Lismore. And it was lovely catching up. It was. Yeah. We went out for dinner, so... It was... Uncle Lim's. Uncle Lim's Asian Fusion. Really delicious. Food was excellent. Yeah. So, so it was good. I'll tell you what, Lismore looks like it's been hammered. The floods recently have really left a mess. And my heart goes out to the people there, I tell you. Right. All right, so I made it to Mullumbimby. And for the first time in over a week, Van is unhitched from the car. It is. So, must be a bit of relief for the car. End of stage one of this epic journey. Yeah, our free camping experiment. Hopefully, you can come and join us as we continue to travel north to Darwin. I look forward to exploring some exciting places on the way. Mm -hmm. So, thanks for stopping by. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs>